Hello and welcome to my Bedroom Studio 2022 tour. Today I'm going to show you some gear that I have and how I use it. So let's get right into it. So first we're going to start with the biggest new thing in the studio and that is the Profit Rev 2. And this synthesizer is awesome. I've had I've had it for a little while now and it is so much fun. You can get so many sounds out of it. I really love it and I uh, think it's a good purchase, especially to offset the uh, Juno because the Juno is very much a keyboard and the Profit is very much a synth. This is the Roland Juno DS. This piece of gear is the one that I've had the longest and I still use it all the time. Awesome keyboard and I've made a ton of tutorials. So if you want to see those, they should be up there. Now we move over to kind of the corner of the room. Uh, over here I have a few pretty important things. First of all, I have my microphone. This is the Bluebird SL. It's a very nice microphone. It has a really sharp and crisp high end. It kind of rolls out some of the mids. Uh, so I have to fix that in EQ, but other than that, it sounds great. Back here, I have a Korg Electride SX sampler. I don't use it that much. I don't really know how to use it that well, but I use some of the samples off of it in my songs. And then that runs into the heart of the studio my PreSonus AudioBox 44 VSL, I hope you can see it. I'm going to be upgrading soon, but this one has served me very, very well. I need a few more channels. Uh, four is not enough. Welcome to like the main studio desk area of my studio. This is where I spend a very lot of time working. Um, Monitor-wise, I have the PreSonus R80s, and they sound really good. I've had them for a while now, and yeah, there's a little bit of a buzz when they're on, but I think that's pretty normal for monitors in that price range. And they sound very good, except in here, <laughs> there's a lot of weird reflections, so they're not as flat as I would like it. I also have the Akai MBK Mini as a little MIDI controller just on my desk in case I don't want to go over to my keyboards in that corner, <laughs> in case I'm lazy. And then currently, software-wise, I am running Pro Tools and Studio One, that's why I have both of them up. I use them about equally currently, um, leaning more toward Pro Tools, I would say, but I still really love Studio One. Headphone-wise, I have the Sennheiser HD280 Pros. I really love these. I have two pairs of them currently. And yeah, they're great. They sound really good. They're flat. They keep a lot of the sound in and most of the sound out. So when I'm tracking like vocals or guitar, I don't have to worry about bleed. Something that's over here that you can't really see is my guitar and an instrument that I don't really play very often, but sits up here in my room. And if I need to record guitar, I have it. It's pretty out of tune currently. But yeah, that's kind of my main within reach instruments. So this right here is the biggest change. It's a giant shelf where I can store all my music stuff. So as you can see, it's not really outfitted yet, but if you look at it compared to my desk, there's storage, there's my desk. So as you can see, super easy. And as you can probably see, oh, <laughs> it looks super nice and it's got lights up there. I hope you can see them. And yeah, it's just a nice looking shelf. I need to decorate it more, but it should look very cool in the back of some videos. Thanks so much for watching my 2022 studio tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you have questions about any of the gear or anything you see, please let me know and I'm happy to answer them or make a tutorial on it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and hopefully I will see you again very soon in another video.